Hello and welcome to another episode of Unplugged. As always, I'm Charlie, and this time we'll be checking out the grand opening for Game Realms located in Burbank, California. Let's go take a look. So I'm joined here with the owners of Game Realms. Why don't you go on and introduce yourselves quickly. Uh, my name is William Delaney, and I do a lot of the ordering of the games in particular and uh, take care of some of the day-to-day -day business here. Administrative, Administrative. There you go. Sexy <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Maggie Painter. I handle all of the kind of the um, the general culture and atmosphere of the store. So, I update the release date oh, the release date slides uh, for our signage TV. I grab uh, every day. I check to make sure I get, I get video game trailers for our TVs. Um, update the music playlists um, and generally handle most of the stuff on the sales floor as well and the gaming area. Last but not least, I'm Lucas Painter. Um, I just know a lot about games. <laughs> I've been a collector for a long time, so I have a pretty good pool of knowledge on what's valuable, what's in demand, things like that, and a pretty good knowledge about a lot of games in general, including a lot of stuff I haven't played. He, he is the best, person, the best person when checking for the condition of games, so if someone's selling, he's usually the best person to ch uh, check the condition. To make sure it's in good shape. To make sure it's in good shape. Also, if we need a special, any special pricing for special versions of the game, he's also the best person to, uh, for that information. So why a video game store? Um, why not? Like, video game stores, I know there's a lot out there. A lot of mom and pop stores, different stores, similar, not similar to this, but they do sell games. Either they sell just next gen games, there are some stores that sell just retro. We do a little bit of both, but what we want to do here is like, we have in the back, which we will see later, is we have TVs where people can come in and play demos so they can see exactly if they like the game, um, what, what if they don't know anything about the game. Um, we want to bring back when gaming first started tournaments where people have a place to go in and there's like a tournament in the valley. I don't even think there's any more tournaments in the valley right now. It's yeah, it's like, you know, I, you either have to go all the way over to the hill to L.A. And even then it's far away or it's not a tournament where you want to get into or you go up to Vegas for the big tournament. I know that's coming up now. Um, yeah, the Street Evo. Fighter tournament. Evo, yeah. Yeah, e yeah, Evo's right around the corner. So, but there's nothing here, and that's what we want to do. We want to say, okay, here, you know what? The Valley's back. Yeah, bring back a sense of gaming community to the area. All right, so you guys ready to give us a tour? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. All right, so this is obviously the gaming room. Uh, unlike most other game stores out there, though, you guys have a lot of retro games. You, you have a ton of selection of just everything. Uh, how far back does your selection go for games? Go ahead, Luke. Uh, generally, everything we have is starting back from NES, NES onward. Uh, we still have some... Stuff, more, more, more slots we want to fill on the merchandise front, but that's where we're picking up from. Uh, sure, so is it, uh, it looks pretty extensive. Like, how, f how, how hard is it for me to find weird old stuff if I really want to go looking for it here? Um, eventually, we're going to be carrying everything. Rare, rare stuff as soon as it comes into the store and we can bring it in. We have everything from Nintendo, N64, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, um... What, what am I missing? What's the other systems? Um, Genesis. Genesis. We need more Sega uh, CD and Saturn. Sega CD. Saturn. Ooh, that's going to be a hard one to find. Uh, yes. So yes. I'm seeing you guys sell a bunch of um, Nintendo 64 controls. You have a whole slew of Nintendo gear. You even have a Neo Geo up on the corner over there. I, is the goal to make this a place that not just you can get new games, you can get all you need to set up an old retro system as well? Uh, definitely. Um, it's, it's where you can come in, and if you're looking for something in, in particular, we want to make sure we have it. Or if we can get it for them. No, yeah, it's. Uh, I guess how much of the stuff you carry in that area is recreations versus actually original hardware from the old consoles, if possible. We are. Uh, we're trying to avoid repros or anything we would get in that we'd have to blatantly say it is. I'm generally going to turn down any fakes if I see them. So. Fantastic. Uh, anything special you want to say about the room before we move on? I've heard you guys have some really special games that most people actually can't own because there's not that many copies of them out there. Uh, we actually special ordered a few titles. Um, at the top of my head, there is Saturday Morning RPG for PS4 and Vita. That we actually special order from Limited Run Games. When they were, made the announcement that they were doing a, a limited print, I contacted the head of Limited Run Games and asked, can you uh, possibly spare some copies uh, uh, for wholesale? And he uh, was, was able to give us about, what is it, 10 or I so? We, I think we have 15 of each. Oh, 15 fi for PS4, 15 for Vita, I believe. Okay. 
Yeah, and it's going to be really hard to find because that game was sold out, I think, within 12 hours when they, the moment it put the order button up. Um, and so, yeah, it was gone within a day. So there's only about like 2,000 to 3,000 copies uh, approximately. So, yeah, that, that's a very limited uh, title. And we have some here right now for people to purchase. We um, probably have the last new copies that people are not going to be getting gouged on buying. <laughs> Nice. So is that pretty typical for you guys? The goal is to have a stock of really rare stuff for the people that want those really rare games? Yeah, um, because there's a lot of titles that either like it's, it's not getting as much promotion or it's a little more difficult to uh, to get it because not the normal distribution doesn't happen. Another another case in point, uh, we have also have copies of Steins Gate for PS3 and Vita. That are actually special order from the uh, publisher who's based in Europe, I believe in the UK, uh, called P Cube, and they um, uh, were able to send us the European version of both the Vita version and the PS3 version. We actually have a um, channel member who will probably be trying to make me buy that game from you at some point because he's a giant Steinsgate fan. Uh, of your more, le of, of your. <laughs> so I've been told he's also a huge fan of the anime it's based off of. I assume so. He's been trying to make me watch it for years, and I keep meaning to. But so, uh, d do you have a favorite part of this area? It's got. Uh, you're not sure going to come. You have a little retail space for like clothing and actually ornaments and some of that less traditional gaming stuff. Are very important parts of gaming culture. You have the retro. You have your typical modern consoles things. Uh, is it just an overall favorite space, or do you have one area you're especially proud of back here? Uh, for me personally, I was quite happy with the merchandise area that we have uh, there. That will hopefully we'll have the camera pointing later. Uh, that because uh, I always wanted to have a space where you could buy T-shirts plushies or toys, jewelry in particular. I love video game themed jewelry or any geek related jewelry and sure. it bones me out that I could go to a brick and mortar store and I can't find any of that stuff. I'd wait for Anime Expo or another different uh, comic book convention or just any convention to find them. Either that or I'd wait, uh, check online and hope social media will let me know what's around. And so I want to make a space where, oh, come in, take a look at this case. We have a whole bunch of uh, different uh, jewelry, keychains, mugs, um, based on gaming. Just right there for you to really see. And you don't have to pay for shipping and everything. So you, you can even maybe even try some of them on, like try like put on necklace, see how it looks and everything. So it's nice to have it physically in front of you rather than, oh, there's some nice pictures online, but I wish you could see how big it is on my neck and so forth. Um, so it's, I'm pretty proud of that section. Yeah, bringing the anime convention to people that actually happen to go to an anime convention. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you try anything you want to add? Um, no, I mean, it's, it's like Maggie said, you know, I was, at first I didn't understand like the section she's talking about with the t-shirts and jewelry and she put it together. I mean, it was something that now it's one of my favorite sections too now. I mean, I thought my favorite section was going to be like, you know, the, the PlayStation section and the next generation, but I, I actually like the way it turned out and the way it looks. So it's that and the section we're going to be talking about next, it, which would be the gaming room. Those are two sections I really like, and I think a lot of people are going to be surprised at what it looks like. Well, like you said, bringing gaming culture back to the area as yeah. opposed to just selling games. Oh, yes. Cool. You want to show us the fancy new area you got? That's the kind of the jewel of the store? All right, so this is the final room of the store, and it's also, in many ways, the most unique part of your store. It's a room that when I heard what you guys were doing with it, I was confused why more game stores weren't doing something like this. Tell me about this room. Uh, okay, like I said, there are two areas in this store that I really like. In this room, by far, I, it's just like you said, no other store is doing this. You can come into our store, and let's just say you're in the retro game area. Because that area, people come in and they're like, oh, I used to play this. I don't remember what it looks like. You can actually come over here, rent a station from us, and try it out. And if this is the game you're getting, then you can go ahead. The rental of that station, the, the money you put down on there, goes towards the game. So we don't double charge you. We want to make sure that you leave with what you, you want. And then this is the area where we're going to be. It's tournaments, but more of an eSports league. So we want our own eSports league here where people can come in and we're going to be doing tournaments across all kind of games. Like Maggie, the fighting games? Uh, fighting fight games, I mean, there's like Street Fighter V, Smash Brothers, but we also want to showcase like the lesser known fighting games. Like there's Skullgirls, there's uh, Den Jiki Bunko, Fighting Climax, uh, Nitro Plus Blasters, and a whole bunch of other more niche uh, fighting games we want to feature here as well that doesn't get featured uh, as prominently in other events. So what you're saying is I actually could play video games instead of a video game store for a change and not just some infinitely looped demo of some game I actually want to buy. I could actually play something I want to play before I buy it. 
Definitely. It's, it's exactly what you say. I mean, we do, as you can see, we have demos on here and the demos are going to be changing all the time. And we have, we're going to have almost every single system out here. So if you want to try a retro demo, you can come over here and try it. Again, if you want to try something before you buy it, you can come over here and do that too. We want to make sure that the, the, a person comes in here and they're comfortable. It's, that's by far, you're comfortable, come in here happy, leave happy. Yeah. Basically, you actually get the game you want, not some game you thought you wanted at the end of the day. Oh, yes. I, I tell people it's like we're trying to minimize buyer's remorse because we have situations where, say, a parent buys a game for a child. A child begs for like an hour. The child, sometimes they get home, they play for like 10, 15 minutes, and then they say, I don't like it, drop the controller, and the parent feels I spend like 50 or $60, and you didn't like it after 10 minutes, after you begged me for an hour. Whereas here pay a small fee, uh, rent a station, have them try it out, and if they do like it, that rental fee can go towards your purchase amount, but if they don't, then you know for sure, and you only used up a few dollars versus 50 or $60 that the game might have cost. As an adult, I have that moment more than I probably should, so I'm very thankful you're alleviating the buyer's regret that comes with not so many games, but enough that you have a word for it at the end of the day. Anything else you want to say about the room before we move on? falls on me. You know, I would have made it a secret room. People would have had to explore the store to find it. <laughs> this is why they don't let me make those decisions. So like just a giant wall blocking from the rest of the store and like a vault door and stuff? Yeah, you know, something like that. You got to figure out some password on the brick pattern. I don't know. It would have been very clever though. I don't want to let anything less than that into here. <laughs> oh, fair enough. It's a very special room. You want to protect how special it is. Makes sense. Oh, and, and also, we're going to be doing, you can throw your own personal parties here too. Okay, so you can actually rent out the space if you're trying to throw a gaming party. Definitely. We're still in the process. I don't know. We're at the grand opening. The store will only get better from this point on. You're going to be surprised at what we do. So just keep in mind, keep coming back, and we're going to try to keep surprising customers the more and more the store stays open. Oh, uh, one last thing, if we do have like uh, guests of honors, for example, uh, voice actresses, uh, this is where we'll set them up. Uh, right now we have uh, Jennifer Hale here doing uh, free autograph signings for our customers. So this is also the space where we have uh, guests uh, to do signings. So this is actually kind of an event. Your grand opening has become an event. You have food trucks, you have a guest, you have the guys from Extra Life here. Is the plan to do more events like this in the future, not just tournaments and such, just kind of gaming community moments, if you will? Yeah, have have two ideas. Like We can either do launch events where a new game comes out, we'll celebrate the release of a new game. If it's a new game in a series, we could uh, have the old game set up on the other machines and have the new game demoing as well. For example, say Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, we'll have the older Kingdom Hearts games on the other machines, have Kingdom Hearts 3 on the newer machines. That way you can sort of try out all the entire saga on one go. Um, maybe have some voice actors here as well from that series. Um, we could, or we could hold anniversary events, like say it was the anniversary for maybe Nintendo or something, and we could have a different Nintendo game set up uh, and sort of celebrate everything Nintendo, have the music uh, playlist be all Nintendo stuff, for example. So these are some ideas I'm throwing out there. Very cool, very cool. Any, any last thoughts? I keep saying that, and you guys keep coming up with new things to say. Well, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, we can continue talking about this store all day, all three of us. But this is, it's, it's our baby. This is what, this is if we want to go shopping, this is what we want to shop at, especially when it comes to video games. We want to be able to talk to people and have fun talking to people, you know. Let me come up with some final words for you then. Come down to Game Realms. There's no game store quite like it. They care about gamers and they want you to walk away with something you want. So that's it for our coverage of the Game Realm Grand Opening event and the Game Realm store in general. If you live in the Los Angeles area of California, you have no excuse not to check the store out. It's amazing. It's in many ways the game store video game players deserve and not the ones we've gotten up to this point. As always, I'm Charlie and we're still playing games because you can't. Something Wicked Studios. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up down below, you share us with all your friends, and you subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for more videos right now, we've got a whole bunch of ones all over the channel you can get to by the links below. If you hit the random button, I promise to send you to a good one. You know you want to. Press it. Press it.